so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hello! It's me, Blippi! And today, we are here at the Winchester Dondero Cultural Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because you and I get to learn about a holiday from Mexico. <laughs> it's called Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead in English. And it's a celebration of family members you love. <laughs> well, I am so curious to learn all about it. <laughs> Hola, Blippi! Whoa, I think someone was calling my name. Let's go see who it is. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, were you the one that called my name? That's right. I'm Irma Varela, and I would like to share my culture with you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Irma. Well, we are so excited to learn about Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> and this is so beautiful. Is this part of Dia de los Muertos? Yes, every Ooh. year during <laughs> November 1st and 2nd, we build these beautiful ofrendas for the people who passed away. That's a way of remembering them and to bring it back to be with us. Wow, well, it's so colorful and beautiful. There's so many interesting things on the ofrenda. Is it okay if I touch something? Yes, go ahead. This is a way that you're gonna connect to the person we're remembering. <laughs> well, look, it's a little skull and it looks like it's made out of sugar. Yes, we make sugar skulls every year to decorate the ofrenda and as you can see in the little paper right there, that's where we normally write the name of the person we're remembering. Whoa, it looks like a little headband. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow, there's so many other cool things. And it looks like there's a lot of food here. Yes, huh. because they're coming to visit from really far away. Oh. So they're gonna be hungry. <laughs> and we're gonna serve their favorite food. In this case, he loved coffee, and he loved mole. Ooh, I love those things too. <laughs> yes. Whoa, this bread here, it looks so interesting. Yeah, it's kind of bumpy on top. Right, that's oh. what we call pan de muerto. Ooh, pan de muerto. Bread of the dead. Bread of the dead. <laughs> yes, and you can see in the top, it has little figures here. They represent the bones of the dead. Whoa, <laughs> that's so interesting. Wow. <laughs> And the muerto. <laughs> right. We also have toys because this is a way we remember him and him playing with his family. Uh. He liked <laughs> traditional toys from Mexico like Valero, Loteria, and Trompo. Whoa, <laughs> those sound really cool and fun. <laughs> hey, and I know this. Is that a piñata? That is a piñata. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> and colorful. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, and why is there a passport and a cruise ship and candles? Because Mr. Lemos, he loved to travel. Oh. He went all over the place. And as a Mexican consul, he had the opportunity to do so. We have the candles because they illuminate the way for the dead to come and visit the living. Whoa. We also have uh, incense that is a special aroma that brings them back, as well as the color of the flowers. Do you know how to say flower in Spanish? Ooh, how do you say it? Flor. Flor. <laughs> That's right. Flor. <laughs> I like saying that. <laughs> and all these color, colorful pieces right here, mm -hmm. they're called papel picado. Papel picado. Wow, they're so beautiful. Hey, and look, the flowers are orange, and the papel picato is blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. <laughs> hey, Irma, is it possible for us to learn how to make some papel picado? Of course we can. <laughs> let's go do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> There's so many beautiful, colorful pieces of paper. That's right, Blippi. And uh, Irma, what's this called again? That's papel picado, and we have a skeleton right there, a skull, Ooh, because spooky. we're celebrating <laughs> Day of the Dead. Whoa, yeah, papel picado. Ooh, uh, and Yorma, can you show us how to make these today? Yes, let oh. me show you how to make it the way my grandma showed me. Okay. Because this type of papel picado is more complicated. Mm. You need a special <laughs> tools for that. Okay. Since we're just learning, and the way that my grandma taught me is this way. 
You're going to grab a piece of paper. You can grab one. Oh. I'll grab one. <laughs> hey, look. It's I'm going to take purple. <laughs> purple is my favorite color. Go. And blue, that's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so you see, we're going to work on folding paper. Okay. Just like if you were doing a snowflake. You know oh. how to make snowflakes? Yeah. I've made a snowflake before. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <was> so fun. <laughs> it's the same thing. Cool. So we're going to fold them. Okay. But you're always gonna leave like a little piece on the top that you don't wanna cut, all right? Mm, okay. <laughs> because that fold would be where you're gonna be hanging your little banderitas. They call oh. banderitas. The little pieces individually, banderitas, which means flag. Mm. Okay. Banderitas? Banderitas. <laughs> yeah, that means flag. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so then we're gonna fold it again. Okay, we'll fold it. All right. Yeah. And pay attention never to cut where the opening is, okay? Okay. We don't want to cut on this side. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Let's do it one more time. Okay. We'll okay? do it one more time. All right. Whoa. <laughs> so you have your scissors? Okay. Yeah. Tijeras. Oh. Can you say that one more time? Tijeras. Tijeras. Scissors. Ooh, scissors. All right. <laughs> Well, make sure him. if you're using scissors, you're always with a grown-up. <laughs> That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> My grandma taught me how to do it. We used to have a smaller scissors than this. Oh, cool. But since I'm a big girl now, I can use this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right. We'll use the scissors. <laughs> so you're going to cut, and you can cut like tears. Okay. Little tears. Oh. And then you're going to cut like a, a half moon. And then try to do another little tear, but always respect that space that you have folded, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. We're going to take the folded pieces of paper and our scissors, and we'll cut little tears or little semicircles. <laughs> like that? Very good. Very good. Whoa. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, before we open it, we're going to make a little shape in here. So let's do like a half moon right here. Okay. And we'll let's do that. Piece over here. All right. <laughs> we can open it if you want, if you want more designs on your papel picado. Whoa. And try to cut in the part that is not open always, right? Okay. So let's do another one. You can do like a little tear, or you can do like a triangle. It's up to you. Ooh. It's up to your imagination. <laughs> Ooh, look, I made a little triangle. Hmm, maybe nice. we can make another shape. Okay, uh, let's try. it's whatever you like. This is for you to enjoy, <laughs> have fun. Ooh, let's make a square. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, Ooh. let's open it. Whoa, <laughs> it looks so cool already. <laughs> there you go. In this case, I have like two little banners in one, mm. right? We can cut another thing in the middle if you want. Oh, yeah, and I'll as try you one can more thing. see, but this time we open it. Okay. Like yeah. this. Each time we're just cutting right on the fold. Right. Okay. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> okay, and now we open and see the shapes we cut out. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Look, there's all kinds. We have a diamond shape and a square shape. <laughs> yeah, look, four sides. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and little teardrops. <laughs> wow. You did a great job! Uh, thanks! Congratulations! <laughs> Let me tell you what else happens with the papel picado. Yeah. Papel picado is used to decorate in all kinds of celebrations, oh. not just on the celebration of Day of the Dead. Oh. We're doing Day of the Dead today, and that's why you see these uh, images, Ooh. okay? <laughs> but normally, the people in the, the towns of Mexico, they have very simple papel picado that they make themselves like we did today. Ooh. And what they do to put it together, like we have here, you see how they're banners and they yeah. hang it from one side of the street to the other. Oh. So it makes the whole street beautiful and it flies and the wind 
plays with it. This tradition <laughs> comes from the Aztecs. They used to do it on a bark of a tree. Whoa! And the now, Aztecs? <laughs> they're so old. Yes, they're old, <laughs> yes. So oh. what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a string. Okay. Let's move this paper a little bit. Sure. Move this out of the way. <laughs> okay. These are just examples for you to see. Okay. Fancy, fancy paper. <laughs> so we take our string and our pel picado. That's correct. And then you're gonna put the string and you're gonna use glue in there and then you glue it. Okay, you wanna do it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> let's see okay. if the glue is ready to go. So we cut off the shapes and now we need glue. <laughs> we take the glue. Just put a little bit because uh, tissue paper is really fine mm -hmm. and then it gets all wet <laughs> and then you have a hard time hanging it. <laughs> you don't want too much glue. No. <laughs> and then you just fold the top over the string. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me get close to you because you have to have some, some space, but not a lot. It depends how big you want to make your banners, okay? Or banderitas. Whoa. All right. <laughs> and so you keep going like that, and then you hang it. Wow! <laughs> this looks so beautiful. So this is just one part of the ofrenda. Oh. When I was growing up, we have people coming to sell all kinds of things in, in the market. Mm -hmm. And they would have a lot of vendors selling toys and selling decorations for Day of the Dead, like skulls. They sold the Day of the Dead bread, which you saw already in the ofrenda. Oh. And they sold all kinds of things. When I was little, I really wanted to go to those places because they sold. So many toys. One of my favorite toys was the skulls. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> it's a little skull. And, and you know why I like it so much? Why? Because you can make it talk. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you, Blippi? <laughs> hello, Yama. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> this is silly. Let's laugh, let's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's really fun. <laughs> wow, these are really silly. Yes, yeah. they are fun. They're little skulls, but they're also toys. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> How about we paint them? Yeah. Okay. Let's paint the skulls. <laughs> Whoa! And look, we have some paint, and they're all different colors. Yeah. We have the color yellow, the color purple, blue, red. Green? <laughs> There's so many. Wow. Hey, and we have paint brushes. Okay, there are two for you and two for me. Okay. I think we're ready to start painting. Perfect. Ooh. So just let me tell you really quick the original way that the skulls were, they were really plain when I was oh. little. It was just the black eyes, the cross, the smile. That's oh. the original way. Oh. which really looked more like a real skull. Mm. Then people started to decorate it more. They started to put the flowers around. This is something that is more modern. But the traditional one, very little. Oh. And you can see this one was decorated by the art Anthony. He oh. was the artist who made these clay skulls. And he painted for me every year. He paints <laughs> one for me no. and gives it to me. It's As so As you powerful. can see, that's his own style. You know, it's wow. not traditional, but it's fun, right? Yeah, I like this one. He even has eyelashes. Yeah, you like my eyelashes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really colorful teeth. Yes, Whoa. yes, they are colorful. So you decide how you want to color your skull, and I'll do mine, okay? okay. Let's do it together. Oh, it's time to decorate. Hmm. All right. What color you want to start with? Hmm, well, what color do you think I should paint the skull? Well, my two favorite colors are orange and blue, so we'll start with orange. <laughs> I like. Grab a little bit of orange, and you want to put a little bit of water with your paint so it's not too thick. <laughs> oh, hmm, and what should we do first? Maybe we can give him glasses. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. Oh. 
gonna make my mine really traditional. So oh. I'm just gonna paint around the eyes. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And you're using purple, your favorite color. Of course. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, I think it's doing really good. Did we put too much water? Mm, maybe. I think I did. Oh, 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 my eyes are getting sad. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> sad eyes, this one is crying. Oh, pobrecita. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to see how these turn out. It looks so cool. <laughs> Whoa, look, <laughs> it's a puppy. Hello. <laughs> ah, that's very nice. It looks like you. Yeah. I love it. Hmm. But are we missing anything else with the skull? Mm, let's put some more color. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Maybe hmm, we can make a hat. <laughs> yeah. Let's put some blue. Ooh, nice. On his head. Okay. Hmm. And there's blue right over here. Whoa. We need blue, and for the head, for the flippy hat, we need to make little blue triangles all around. And I'm leaving space because my hat isn't just blue, it's also orange. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hmm, I think I want green, verde. Oh, verde, green. green. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning so many Spanish words. <laughs> well, thank you for teaching me. So much fun learning about new things. Yeah. Yes. It's so much fun having you. Ah, thanks. Because you're a quick learner. Well, I try. <laughs> I love learning. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have the blue of my hat. Now I just need to fill in the orange. I'm going to put eyelashes because it's me. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, this is me. I think I should do eyelashes too. Hmm. All Let's right. Choose. <laughs> I'll use some green. Green eyelashes. Whoa! That's what so silly. is the name of green? Verde. Oh yeah. Remember, we learned that green in Spanish is verde. <laughs> and I'm using red, rojo, rojo, verde, and rojo. That's right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa! We have eyelashes! Verde eyelashes and rojo. <laughs> ho, 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 We're having so much fun! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It is so much fun learning about all the different art you can make around Day of the Dead. That's right! Whoa! This is so cool! <laughs> wow! Hmm. Let's put one last thing. Maybe I need some colorful teeth. Yes. <laughs> Let's put purple, purple teeth. on my teeth. Whoa. <laughs> oh, check you out. Whoa. That's cool. It's checkered purple teeth. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, well, now I want to do checkered teeth. Let me see. Okay. Oh, that's super cool. I love it. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put braces. Braces? Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Maybe your skeleton needs their teeth a little straighter. Uh -huh. They put on braces. <laughs> All right, let's Whoa. do that. <laughs> Whoa. How do you like that? Yeah, that's great. With that color? That is green. Third thing. That's right! Whoa! Hey, and I'm gonna put a red nose on my skull! <laughs> yeah! Do you remember what red is in Spanish? Rojo! <laughs> yeah! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> and yes. mine's finished too! <laughs> wow! <laughs> These Look at the so mouth! Fun. It's so big! It looks like it's hungry! Hungry! Whoa! Ooh. 
Ooh. I'm feeling kind of hungry, too. Yes. Do you want to go try some good Mexican food? Whoa! I would love to! Let's go! Okay! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all this delicious food! <laughs> wow, I've never seen some of these foods before. Can we try one out? Yeah, let's try the tlacoyos. Whoa, how do you say this one? Tlacoyos. Tlacoyos? Whoa. I'm gonna eat it like a pizza, but you can Ooh. use utensils. Ooh, I wanna eat it like a pizza too. <laughs> it looks so delicious. It is delicious. Whoa. Be careful, it's a little bit spicy. Okay. Mmm. 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 It is spicy, huh? <laughs> Oh, that is really spicy. Is I there know. something we can drink? Yeah, let's <gasps> drink some cucumber. You Ooh, want? Thank you. Mm, <gasps> cucumber oh. water. Look, pepino. Pepino? Mmm. It's cucumber water. Hey, and do you know what color it is? Yeah, the color green. Hm, I think we learned that color in Spanish. That's right. Verde. Verde. Mmm. <laughs> It is so refreshing to have some cucumber water after you eat something really spicy, <laughs> like spicy salsa. Mm. Hmm, what else can we eat? I, I want to try the enchiladas. Ooh, enchiladas. I've People heard that before. People make enchiladas all over Mexico, but oh. this one's, mmm, you're going to love. Here is your fork. Oh, thank you. I, we, can, we can do it like a taco, but it's kind of messy, so let's just do it this way. Okay. And what is in an enchilada? Normally, it's cheese and chicken. Ooh. <laughs> this one are made out of cheese. Ooh. And you have a little bit of lettuce. Oh my God, I think I cut it too big. Hey. Okay. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This enchilada is so tasty. This mm. is not a spicy. If you wanted to put more salsa, you can. That's why they give you extra. Whoa. But if you like it just like that, uh, that's enough. Whoa. Mm, delicious. And this salsa is also Verde. <laughs> and very tasty. You know what else I want you to try? Let's try mole. Oh, mole? I haven't heard of that before. What's that? Mole is a very traditional meal. The salsa is called mole. They oh. make it from very long time ago, before the Spanish conquest. Let's try. Whoa, <laughs> this looks super tasty. Ooh, let me bring it so we can have it close. Okay, here we go. Can I try mole? <laughs> My favorite. Oh, I love mole. Make sure you get the salsa. It's made out of chocolate and spices. You'll see. Whoa, chocolate. Mm. Ooh, that's so funny. <laughs> chocolate on chicken. Sounds tasty. <laughs> it is. It mm. has a little bit of a mm. spice, right? Mm -hmm. mm. That we is no so delicious. <laughs> yes. We normally eat it with rice. Ooh. Arroz. Arroz. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> mm, that mole was so tasty. There are so many different foods I didn't know if I would like before I tried them. But then I tried them and they were all so tasty. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. We also have tacos and we have buñuelos. Oh. Buñuelos is something we don't eat during this time mm. normally because we eat them during Christmas. Oh, during Christmas? Yes, but because we are remembering special people and the food they like, we can have buñuelos today. Ooh, that's but so tasty. <laughs> we have too much food. So I think what you really need to taste is pan de muerto. Because Ooh. pan de muerto is the only time you're going to taste it during Day of the Dead. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's try, try that. It. Ooh, Day of the Dead bread. <laughs> that's right. Just like the one we saw at the ofrenda. Ooh, I can't wait to taste it. All right. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it looks so tasty. Yeah. It is delicious. And, and it has the bumps on the top. That's Better right. the bones. That's <laughs> right. Let's cut it. Whoa. It and looks you're gonna grab hard. a piece. No, it's not hard. But it's soft. It's it's um firm. Ooh. Because you normally eat it with chocolate. You dunk Ooh. it in the chocolate or your mm. milk. <laughs> That's a really your tasty. piece. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, this looks so tasty. I can't wait to try it. Okay, here we go. Let me get Ooh. my piece. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can eat it. Oh. Mm. What do you think? 
You see now why the dead come mm. to visit the living? <laughs> this oh. is tasty. It mm. tastes kind of citrusy and sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> These are the flavors of Day of the Dead. Mm. <laughs> and after that, you know what we need to do? We need to dance because we ate so much. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Well, thank you, Irma, for teaching us all about Dia de los Muertos, about making crafts and eating delicious food. But is there anything else we should learn about? Yes, my favorite part, music! <gasps> oh, look at this place! <laughs> this looks like a great place to learn all about music! <laughs> and there's a mariachi band, whoa! Yes, 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 mariachi! You want to learn about the instruments? I would love to. Okay, let's learn. <laughs> this is a violin. Whoa, a violin. That sounds beautiful. Um, but how do you say it in Spanish? Violin. Violin. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love learning about instruments and their names in Spanish. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This instrument has strings just like a violin, but it's really tall. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. Ooh. <laughs> now, what's the name of this instrument? Harp. Harp. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it sounds so beautiful. Harp. <laughs> and in Spanish is arpa. Arpa. Ooh, that's fun to say. <laughs> arpa. <laughs> Whoa. And I think I know what this instrument over here is. It's a guitar! <laughs> but I don't know how to say guitar in Spanish. Guitarra. Guitarra. Ooh. And this is how they sound. Whoa! <laughs> wow, all these instruments sound so beautiful. It's so fun learning about music. <laughs> all we need now is a singer. Hmm, that would be good. <laughs> <gasps> oh my, oh my! Whoa. Look at who it is. It's Aida Cuevas! Uh, hola, Blippi! <laughs> hola! La reina de las rancheras! Wow! Yeah. I am so excited! <laughs> ¿Quieres cantar conmigo? Whoa! Aida just asked if we would like to sing with her. I would love to! Right. Si! Sí. <laughs> Gracias! <laughs> okay, let's sing! <laughs> Me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Todos me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Yo soy como el chile verde, llorona, picante, pero sabroso. Salías del templo un día, llorona, cuando al pasar yo te vi. Salías del templo un día, llorona, cuando al pasar yo te vi. Hermoso huipil llevabas, llorona, que la virgen te creí. Hermoso huipil llevabas, llorona, que la virgen te creí. ¡Suégale! Esto es en México. Dices que no tengo duelo, llorona, por 
porque no me ves llorar. Dices que no tengo duelo, llorona, porque no me ves llorar. Hay muertos que no hacen ruido, llorona, es más grande su penar. Hay muertos que no hacen ruido, llorona, es más grande su penal. Ay, la, 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 la. I can't believe I got to perform with a real life mariachi band! <laughs> and Aida Cuevas! Whoa! <laughs> they were so amazing! They were really, really talented musicians! <laughs> yeah! A musician is someone that plays music or sings music. La 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 la! <laughs> hey, I really love music. Oh, and speaking of music, do you hear that? Oh, there's some more music playing. Ooh, <laughs> I bet it's another band warming up for another performance for Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we can go find them. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> maybe they're in here. Hmm. <laughs> nope, they're not in there. Hmm. Ooh, look. There's a picture of a guitar on the door. Hmm, maybe the music's coming from this door. <laughs> Let's listen. Ooh, let's see who's playing the music. <laughs> Hi, Libby. Hi. Come on in. Come on. Oh, it's the mariachi band. <laughs> Come on. Hi. Whoa, hello, everyone. <laughs> And we are Mariachi Divas. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. I'd like to introduce the ladies here today. We have Natalie, Eileen, Daniela, Lola, and Elisa. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet everyone. Whoa. You too. Oh, you all look amazing. Thank you. Yeah. And you have really cool instruments. <laughs> oh, and Cindy, what's this instrument? This is the coolest instrument. Well, that's what I say. This is the trumpet. Oh, yeah, it's a trumpet. It's, it's, the, it's the loudest one. The loudest oh. one for sure. It's loud? <laughs> that was really loud. Yeah, and it looked like you made lots of different notes, different sounds in the music by hitting these right here. Those are called vowels. Oh. And we have three vowels. Whoa, oh, yeah. One, one vowel, two vowels, three vowels. Whoa. <laughs> and a giant bell. Oh, yeah. Do you see this? Yeah, the sound comes out of the big bell right here. Whoa! <laughs> this is a brass instrument. Oh, yeah. It's made of brass. Oh, and so pretty. <laughs> well, you. Cindy, I think I want to see some of the other instruments. Definitely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> well, what's your instrument? This is the violin. So it's made out of wood. Oh, yeah. It's not made out of metal like brass. It's made out of a very pretty wood. Oh. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Of course. So, we can use bow. Okay. In order to make some sound come out. So Did you hear that? Yeah, there weren't valves on a violin. No, there are strings. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's four strings. One, two, three, four. Yes. <laughs> four strings, but you don't use a pick or your hands kind of like a guitar. You use Ooh, this. We use the bow and we can also pluck, actually. Oh, well, you can? Yeah, we can pluck. So we can do. Oh, yeah, she can use her hands and that's called Plucking. Yeah, you pluck the string and make sound. <laughs> yes. Oh, and what's the bow made out of? So the bow, this one right here in particular is carbon on the stick. Whoa. And then we have horse hair on it. Whoa, horse hair? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's cool. Yeah, and then we put rosin on it, so that's why it looks a little powdery. Whoa. And then that's why it helps us stick onto the string so we can hear a Wow, that is a beautiful instrument and really interesting. <laughs> Whoa, well, thank you. Absolutely. I think I see another instrument. Oh, 
Look at this. <laughs> this one's so big. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like a guitar, but a giant guitar. <laughs> it is a giant guitar. It's called the guitarron. A guitarron? Yes. Oh, did I say that right? Yes, you did. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. And this one is made of wood as well. Yeah. And it has six strings. Whoa. One, two, two three, four, five, six. six. <laughs> oh, and three of the strings are the color yellow. Because that's my favorite color. That's your favorite color? Yeah, so we get to pick whatever color you like for oh. the strings. Oh, yellow and silver. Ooh. Hey, can you guess my favorite colors? <gasps> Let me guess. Orange and blue? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> orange! Ooh, that was a good guess. <laughs> and you want to hear it? Yeah. Sounds like an acoustic bass guitar. Yes, oh. it is a bass guitar. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this guitar. Whoa, well, it might be guitar. I actually don't know the name of this instrument. This is called a vihuela, oh. and it's kind of like a guitar, but it only has five strings. Oh, five strings. Wow, yeah, a guitar has six strings, but this, it only has five. Whoa. Exactly, and it's a little higher pitched, so it sounds like this. instrument. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look up here. It looks like this part is really beautiful. Yeah. It has wood on it. Hmm. And these little metal things, what are those called? These are called pegs and you use them to tune your strings. Whoa. You could go lower or you could go higher. But you want it somewhere in the middle so it sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. You want to play an instrument that's nice and in tune. <laughs> hmm, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, and look at this instrument. I think I know this one. Is this a guitar? Yes, it's a guitar. Whoa, can you play some for us? Wow, oh, that sounds so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. It has six strings as well. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Whoa, <laughs> I love guitars. Yeah, they're really fun to play and even more fun to listen to. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, and look at this over here. Oh, oh, hi there. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Elisa. Oh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi. And Elisa, oh, is that face paint? It is. Whoa, check it out. Elisa has some beautiful face paint on. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. And it looks like there's a rose and some pretty designs. Yeah. Yes. Well, why do you have your face painted? So we usually paint our faces like this to represent a skull for Dia de los Muertos. And then we add pretty flowers and swirls to make it not so scary. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love getting my face painted. Oh, hey, do you like to get your face painted too? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Me too. <laughs> well, would you like to get your face painted? <gasps> Can I? Well, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> That'd be great. Whoa. I can't wait to get my face painted. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. But what design should I get? Hmm. I think you should do a flower. Ooh, that would be great. Yeah, just like the rose on your forehead. <laughs> and how about we do your favorite colors? Hmm. Ooh, that would be great. Yeah. Maybe we could do a flower that's orange and blue. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start right here. A little cold. We will add the color. Whoa! Well, you're really good at this. <laughs> Thank you. I practice a lot. Whoa, yeah, I'm sitting really, really still because I want the flower to turn out really beautiful. <laughs> You're done. Whoa, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, look, there's different colored petals. Ooh, hey, it goes orange and blue and orange and blue. It reminds me of my hat. Look, <laughs> orange and blue and orange and blue. <laughs> Whoa, it's so pretty. 
pretty. You did a great job. Thank you. Aww. Are you ready? Oh, ready to play some music? Want to join us? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> now that I have the flower painted on my cheek, I think we're all ready to go on stage and join the divas. <laughs> well, hey, Blippi. Well, hi. Hey, if you're going to be playing with mariachi divas, you might as well look the part as well. Ooh. Oh, what's this? It's a mariachi jacket. That's for, for you. Me? For you. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we should try it on. <laughs> Whoa. My very own mariachi jacket. Oh, yes. Whoa. <laughs> really yeah. great. We match. <laughs> and also some shakers. Well. Whoa, shakers. Yeah, so I can play along. <laughs> okay, I'll see you on stage. Whoa, this is going to be so fun. Yeah, we get to join the divas on stage. Ooh. Now that I have my jacket and my instrument, I think we're ready to go. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Hola, we are the two-time Grammy Award winning mariachi divas. Yeah. Welcome to the stage, Flippy. <laughs> En los campos en la primavera De colores De colores son los pajarillos Que vienen de afuera De colores De colores es el arco iris Que vemos lucir Y por eso los grandes amores De muchos colores me gustan a mí Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con el kiri kiri kiri. La gallina con el cara, 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 cara Los polluelos, los polluelos con el pío, 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 pío Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí The Excavator Song! Rodrigo, ven! Ven! Ooh. And we need someone else to help us sing Rodrigo! <laughs> Hola, Blippi! Hola! <laughs> Let's sing the Excavator Song! I'm an excavator Excavator Hey, dirt! See you later! I got a great big arm and a great big boom If I start digging now, I'll be done real soon I'm a dirt separator I'm an excavator I got a great big scoop and I scoop all the time Digging holes in the ground, wondering what I'll find I'm an earth investigator You see that I don't have feet. No feet? How do you get around? I roll on tracks to get to where I need to be. Soy una excavadora, excavadora. Hey, tierra hasta el fuego. Soy una excavadora.
for an ofrenda and a delicious food with Irma. <laughs> we also got to have lots of fun with the mariachi divas. And I got to perform on stage with Aida Cuevas. <gasps> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you.